¿Por qué un maestro de escuela tendría que enseñarle a sus alumnos a compartir recursos usando este tipo de licencia? Well, one of the most interesting Creative Commons projects I saw was in New Zealand. Where the principal for the schools in this area had created a Creative Commons school district. And the reason he did this is he said, you know, obviously kids when they're creating school reports, they're going to the internet and downloading pictures and putting it in their school reports, but they're never thinking about the copyright permission to do that. So the education of this principle was students should be thinking, do I have the right to use this image? If I need an image where I have the freedom, I should go use a Creative Commons image. And the stuff that I create, I should make it available for others to be able to use in their research as well. Now, the, the general question, you, you know, you ask, why should they? In my view, the answer is, we should maximize freedom unless there's a good reason to restrict it. So if people are creating knowledge or uh, information, that ought to be shared unless there's a reason we need to restrict it, like to give them income to fund their you know, existence. Now, I don't think kids in high school are going to be able to sell their school essays to make money to fund their education. So I don't see any reason for copyright to be restricting them. And I think instead they ought to be encouraged to share as much as they possibly can. Now let me just add one point. Um, recently photographers, the leading of the, the leader of the biggest American photographer association. Yeah, it's professional photographers. These are you know, people like this, real photographers. Um, started promoting the idea that every social media site should by default make their images Creative Commons licensed. And for a similar reason, he's like, people ought to be choosing to make their work free, and if they don't, they should, they should say no, so that people, when they take images, know how they can respect the rights of the creators, make it easier for people to respect the rights of the Todos deberíamos tener acceso libre y si no, deberíamos saber cómo respetar aquello que el otro protegió.